Yo, what is up, my mullet sharp here, and I'm bringing you guys Climb the Ladder Episode 4, and this is going to be the first Search and Destroy gameplay of the series. And I want to start off by saying off the start here, what I was trying to do is, my teammates didn't really do too good of a job of stunning for me, but I was trying to run over and get control of the middle sidewalk. And if you guys don't ever watch my live stream or any of that, and I'll also explain that in the, or actually I did explain that in my S&D Tips series, if you guys didn't see that, S&D Tips on Dome, uh, what I was trying to do is take control of the middle sidewalk, and then that makes it easy for my teammates to push out to B, but uh, they didn't really hit the stun, so I'm going to put the the rushing class away and bring out the ACR. You know, it's kind of my fallback gun, and right now I'm going over towards B, and we didn't send anyone middle map. Uh, you see on the mini map, you know, we do have someone at the middle fence, but they didn't rush sidewalk, and you really need someone to push down sidewalk and get the, the head glitch right there to watch the cross over at the loading dock area. Uh, because that's going to make it easy for your team. But luckily for us, these guys kind of just played back and didn't push out of their spawn. Uh, and realized kind of got you know a little happy there and pushed up the tank and was saw he, you know he got saw from the window, seen from the window, Jesus. Uh, and they naded him at the the Humvee. But uh, really, when you're playing defense, you know it, it really means what it means. You got to play defense. You can't like run around and try to do anything extra. Uh, really, on this map. It's such an easy map to play defense on. Once you get them trapped in, then they really can't do anything uh, unless they try to nade you or pick you off, which you, you need to just make sure you're sitting in spots where they can't pick you off. Like uh, I'm kind of not laying in a, a great spot right now. If they were to come out of loading dock, they would kill me. Uh, but I'm kind of, you know, where if I stand up and get killed from middle, then um, it's not going to work. So I, I decided to move here and try to run around towards A uh, as all my teammates go down. And now I believe it is a two-on-one situation. And... Pretty much can predict they're going to play an A because they were over there. They're already set up. Once you get set up an A on offense, and it's just really easy to play an A. But uh, I probably, I, you know, I might have sh probably should have ran in there and tried to kill him, uh, but I couldn't. And I noticed that that guy was the guy that planted the bomb, and Varsity was the last guy alive. And I, I just didn't expect him to be right here. I didn't expect him to be waiting at this Humvee uh, because I could have just pushed into A, picked up the bomb, and then he would have had to run over, and I probably would have killed him on the run over. Uh, I just, I don't know, I didn't, it was just such an un uncommon spot. Uh, that's why I just kind of ran out there without looking and uh, got taken out. Now we're down 0-2, and we need to kind of change what we're doing. So I call out, I tell my teammates to rush middle because last time they didn't stun for me. They didn't stun over to B, and I said I was going to throw these stuns right here. Throw these stuns through the window. And actually, it's all, it's better to aim in with your ACR, like aim your red dot at the window and then throw the stuns, and that, that's a little tip. Because then you're not going to be like there where I was wobbling around trying to line up the stuns with the crosshairs. But I didn't stun anyone. They didn't go middle. And now I see this red dot middle. I'm going to jump out, swing out. I almost get turned on because I kind of jump on the tank a little too far. Uh, but you know who did get turned on? It was this guy. Uh, too bad for him. <laughs> but I kind of jumped out a little too far there and got swung behind the tank and uh, almost, almost choked that kill right there. Uh, but we pick up the round, win the round there. And really, if you notice them, they didn't go middle. And and when, like I said in the round before, when we were on defense, middle is a power position. You know, we easily just pushed out to B over there. They had no one middle to watch it. Uh, he didn't really get in a good spot, and I was able to push around him and kill him because they the guy that went into A ran all the way through A, and uh, he got to his spot a little too late. Now we send three people B, uh, and then you know we're just a little a little unorganized. And, like I said, this is episode four, so this is probably our fourth match, and this might be like the first time we played Dome S and D. So, um, you know, we're a little unorganized where we go. I think now uh, we 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 know more what to do and uh, where everyone should be. And now Convention is the last guy alive. And I think it's a one on one, and I really didn't expect him to run around like be inside of the loading dock area. Uh, luckily, I, I give him the Duke stain. <laughs> Uh, and kill him with the little drop shot. That's where you, sh you know, it shows that the the drop shot in this game is better than the jump shot. You know, if this is Black Ops, you probably would have killed me. Uh, but drop shot's better than the jump shot in this game. And I pick up the kill there and win win the round to make it two two. But I didn't really expect him to be inside loading. I thought he had already pushed down two Bs, but uh, unfortunately he was he was in there. Luckily I got the kill on him. So come over here, throw the stuns through the window. And this round I'm going to stun them because they kind of realize they need to get you know the middle control. I'll wait a little bit to throw the nade because your nades don't kill right away. And, and this guy pushes out the middle hole. That was a good play by him. He recognized that last round I went out to Humvees and came behind the guy middle. And he, he corrected what he did. But you see Fearless right there. Where, he, where Fearless just killed that guy. That's what I mean by going middle and sitting in the little middle Humvee area. Because if you can go there, then you're going to kill that guy at the head glitch every time. 
uh, because it's just, you have such an advantage over him, you know, uh, really, because you can see him coming up first, you can see him coming up to the sandbags, and you can just pre-fire him at the head glitch. So uh, that's what I mean by rushing out there to sidewalk, while that, why that makes that good, because sidewalk is such a power position on this map, and hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping, I, I don't remember, hopefully we send someone sidewalk. And doesn't look like we did. So we didn't send anyone sidewalk. Hopefully we can win this defensive round. Uh, and now I'm going behind these little forklifts here just because this is a good little head glitch. You know, it's hard for people to kill. You got to watch out for people to stand up on the on the little side of the crate though and go up next to the fence uh, because then you can get shot through there. Uh, and, and I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. You see the little ledge above the crack, how people can stand on the ledge. Uh, a lot of people like to go up there and shoot over the, the forklift. Sometimes I actually do that. Uh, so now we have him trapped in. We have a guy sidewalk, we have a guy B-bomb. And I think I actually do end up turning around here because uh, of the fact that we have too, too many people watching B and we, we got to lock down. I'm like, all right, I'm going to help, go help our teammate over out by A. And I got kind of tripped out by those barrels in there. I don't really like those barrels. And I was like, you know what, I'll just kind of chill back here and watch your back in middle. You know, you watch over at A, and then we got B locked down. And now this is where we have the whole whole map locked down. And, and I was I kind of realized that we don't have middle at all. And I, I push up. I, I remember this uh, to a T, as, as you guys see. You know, I haven't watched this video over to, like, tell you guys, like, oh, I'm going to push up middle, and then I push up middle to act like I know what I'm talking about. But I actually do remember, like, thinking this, like, all right, we don't have middle control, so I do need to get a little bit of, of a better spot on middle. But then I was like, I got in this spot here, and I was like, well, what if they can see my name? What if they nade me? And I was just, like, squirming around trying to find a good spot to watch middle. And it just wasn't, I don't know, it just wasn't, like, clicking for me as, like, a good spot. Uh, to watch this because I was like, well, if someone goes behind that Humvee and my name pops up, then they, you know, this game's kind of weird like that, then they can name me. So uh, I believe I do middle over, move over to the right and lay in front of the sandbag. And I'll, I'll explain that when I, yeah, I do move over. Uh, and then I sit right here. And now I'm laying right here and I worry about getting shot in my back because the guy at the sidewalk, he is watching the, uh, the loading dock, but if they go and look through the truck and the crack in the truck, then they can actually shoot me in the back. So I lay right here in the middle. I got the sandbags blocking me from the right side, and now I got to worry about is people coming my front. But I'm pretty sure that if someone comes to my front, I'm gonna you know win the gunfight of them uh, coming to the front. So now it's pretty much just play defense, lock them in, and then I I, I remember this. Uh, the kills were so close. I wish I could show you guys the scoreboard. The the kills were close, and what these guys were playing for is they were playing for defense. So they they were all hiding in their base. That's why they weren't moving out. And I just tell my team, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go in. I'm going to try to kill them uh, because we do realize that they're not even trying to win the round. They're just playing for defense, making sure they don't die. Uh, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna win. we're going to win the round. Or I'm going to go in, just try to get kills. You know, If we don't, then whatever, we have offense. Uh, and, and I do move right here. I remember this. Uh, push up through the Humvees and just try to kill these guys. And I actually told my teammates not to go in because, you know, if they kill two of us and they get pushed out. But uh, there wasn't enough time for anything like that. But everyone did start kind of pushing up. You know, we had a guy come in Humvee door. We had a guy go in and get killed over there. Uh, and it could have been a bad situation if Fearless would have got killed. Or, I mean, if um, I think Diabolic was the last one. If Diabolic got killed over by B. So, uh, teammates didn't really listen to me when I said don't push in. But that's all right. We... Uh, we lost, We won the round, but we're going to go into an offensive round. And I, I remember this. I remember this game uh, so well, even though this is like a couple days ago. I remember, all right, let's just do an all-A all a rush. And when you rush A, what you want to do is stun the middle. You want to stun, and you want to stun the hole down in A. Uh, the A hole, the asshole. Uh, and, and make sure you hit those stuns on the guy rushing A. So I stun the guy middle. I'm going to wait, 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 throw my nade. And the second stun didn't hit, so that means he's kind of pushed back. I don't want to grab bomb. Uh, my teammate kind of said he was going to grab bomb, but he didn't. So now we're pushed down. I'm going to push up this middle and try to help my teammates get it down into A and also watch the middle map uh, because that guy has to be in A somewhere. So he gets killed, but Diabolic takes out the guy that kills Fearless. This guy's middle. He eats bullets, doesn't get killed. And now what I'm just trying to do is watch our flank and watch middle and make sure they don't push up. So now I'm going to go over here to this Humvee because everyone goes behind these Humvees. Everyone rushes Humvees. So what I'm going to do, I believe, yeah, I lay down and look at his feet. Try to watch his feet. Try to watch him run up on me. Uh, and this is a real... People don't expect this. Like, who's going to run up to the Humvee and look for people looking under? Uh, and that's a good way to get the upper hand on the guy. I actually almost died to him. I would have been surprised if I did. Uh, but you see the rush. The A-rush, sometimes playing reckless, just works. Uh, you know, you don't want to do the A-rush all the time because pretty soon they're going to correct and it's not going to work because it's a hard thing to do. But, you know, it was 3-3. Three, three. They expect us to go B uh, like we did every round. We rushed A. We won the round. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of climb the ladder a little little bit of comeback there you know six and four convention actually went 
He actually did pretty good this game. I believe on bootleg, the first map, he did really good. And then on this map, you see he has 10 kills. But uh, if you guys like this episode, then as always, uh, click the little like button and add it to your favorites. And if you're not subbed, then uh, hit the subscribe button. As always, it's Sharp. I'm out. Peace.